everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss about a new paper uh, which has recently been released, which is titled "Automatic uh, Design of Agentic Systems." So I am focusing on this paper because uh, I I found this paper to be very interesting and uh, 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 possibly taking the field of uh, artificial general intelligence to a new level. Uh, and uh, what they have proposed in this paper is that essentially they have formulated a new research area which uh, they are calling as automated design of uh, agentic systems or ADAS. The idea is to automatically create uh, powerful agentic system designs uh, in an approach where uh, uh, you know you're writing the agent in the format of a code itself and then iteratively uh, uh, generating better and better agents by developing what they call uh, a meta agent so the approach is that uh, uh, the agent can be first defined in code and then new agents can be automatically discovered by an uh, by a meta agent so what this means is uh, it's it's highlighted very nicely in this figure so what happens is that uh, there is this archive of agents which is like a repository of all the agents which the model has learned uh, over time you can consider this archive to be similar to uh, an archive of books maybe where let's like, say you are learning about a particular topic and first you read something that maybe happened 50 years back then you refine your knowledge you try to understand what happened uh, 20 years later and then what happened quite recently so uh, typically in the archive you would have different versions of the agents and every single agent will have let's say different performance the idea is to uh, uh, have the agent uh, in the current version uh, better than the previous agent. That is why you have more number of discovered uh, agents and the number of discovered agents will continue to increase up until the time uh, we run out of the iteration number. In every iteration what happens is that the meta agent, uh, uh, you know, uh, takes a look at uh, the existing archive and then it tries to find the next interesting agent so we will we will try to see what does interesting mean uh, essentially it uh, means that the uh, agent should uh, try to give better performance uh, compared to the previous agents in the archive and then uh, it will return a new agent so we will test the performance of, of this new agent on some tasks and then add this agent to archive if it is found to be satisfactory. And then this process runs multiple times. Every single time this process runs, uh, we discover a new agent and then we add that agent to the list of uh, uh, agents in the agent archives. Uh, this is basically uh, what it means by ADAS, Automatic Design of agentic systems uh, their their main hypothesis is that uh, the history of machine learning uh, has revealed a recurrent theme and and that theme is that uh, 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 over time as as we get more compute and data uh, hand designed features are are replaced by uh, by better systems which are more automatic in nature so uh, what what they are saying is that historically we have seen that uh, the field of machine learning has evolved from uh, more manual intervention to a place where uh, you know for example cnns where the features are now discovered by themselves without having to uh, design the features by hand and they are trying to extrapolate that for uh, agentic systems as well they are saying that instead of manually designing new agents every time, uh, can we have a system where uh, the new agents are discovered automatically? 
and that's that's the main idea uh, and and they are uh, trying to pose this uh, research question can we automate the design of agentic systems rather than relying on manual efforts so that's that's the basic hypothesis which this paper is trying to solve and uh, uh, this paper is uh, is is a very easy read i'm i'm just going to take one example to demonstrate what exactly they are trying to do so we will take uh, the example of let's say uh, okay so let's take this example of uh, okay so we'll uh, we'll take the example of the arc challenge so what happens in this challenge is that uh, you are given uh, three sets of input output examples this is the first set uh, this is the second set the third set is not shown here and then what happens is that typically there is some kind of a transformation rule which takes the input to the output and uh, manually you can see it right the transformation rule is simply what's happening is it's kind of filling a bounding box outside the central square like this right so we understand this as humans but the uh, the question is that uh, uh, can we build an ai agent that can understand this logic and then given a test grid it can uh, go from this test grid to the answer right so given a new design uh, can it put squares around these and then try to predict this answer it turns out that uh, traditional ai agents are not very good at this and then let's see what these people do using their methodology so uh, what they do is that firstly they uh, they define uh, a description for this meta agent right and then what this description says is that your aim is to find an optimal agent performing well on arc which is the abstraction and reasoning corpus in this challenge each task uh, consists of three demonstration examples and one test example each example consists of an input grid and an output grid and test uh, test takers need to use the transformation rule learned from the examples to predict the output grid for the test example so this is exactly same what i was demonstrating to you before uh, now what is this meta agent this meta agent uses the gpt 4o model which is uh, developed by uh, open ai okay and uh, this is an example task uh, from the arc challenge which is uh, you can sort of consider this like a prompt that you provide to the large language model so the meta agent is uh, is is just a piece of code with with this prompt given to the agent right so here uh, this is an example it says overview of the task and it says you will be given some number of paired example inputs and outputs the outputs were produced by applying a transformation rule and uh, your task is to determine this transformation rule which is pretty clear and it gives uh example 0 example 1 example 2 uh three examples and then finally uh, it has to analyze and uh, it has to find the transformation rule based on these examples up until now it's it's pretty simple this is what the meta agent description actually looks like now uh what happens is that uh based on the flow chart which i showed you um which is shown in figure 1 uh the adas discovers multiple agents so in the first step agent 1 is discovered it is added to the archives in the second step agent 2 is discovered added to the archives similarly uh, it it goes on discovering uh, better and better agents uh, and and we can actually see what happens uh, uh in this discovery process so uh, yeah so this is what happens in the discovery process so what happens is that uh, so this is the uh, this is the test accuracy and these are the number of iterations right so as you go from iteration 1 to iteration 25 newer and newer agents are discovered and added to the uh, archives this is the uh, 
this is the first agent you can see the accuracy is not very good and then kind of the accuracy goes on increasing as you go from one agent to the next at every single step right what's happening is that uh, uh, there are the agents are becoming more high performing so you can see that uh, this at this level an important uh, strategy emerged using multiple chain of thoughts to generate possible answers refining them and finally ensembling the best answers now uh, these uh, this this accuracy is much better than uh, the existing methods which are shown in different colors for example you can see that up until now this was the highest performing model uh, and then uh, the meta agent search on this challenge has actually outperformed this model by quite a lot so it's pretty good and then if you might be wondering okay fine uh, there are multiple agents in the archive and then which is the best one so this is the uh, this is how the best performing agent actually looks like um, it it uh, it's it's pretty uh, pretty i won't say complex but it it includes a lot of a lot of elements which the model has learned over time one thing that i would like all of you to appreciate is that the discovery of this agent is uh, completely automatic what we have basically done is that uh, we have used a meta agent which is simply a piece of prompt itself and then that prompt is run on an existing code so that uh, every single time the prompt runs on the code you get better and better uh, agents that is the broad level idea of how the uh, uh, automated discovery of agentic systems is going to look like and what they have done is that they have shown uh, uh, two more examples but basically the idea is the same that uh, they they uh, obtain a huge difference in the accuracy uh, as as compared to the other accuracies which are reported in the literature you can see there is a clear jump right so so this is what is the main hypothesis i i hope you understood what's what's happening uh, uh, towards the end they actually mention something very interesting they say that this uh, this topic uh, clearly includes uh, uh, automated discovery of agentic system as a new area in the research of uh, artificial general intelligence or agi and uh, uh, the more ethical question of whether and why we should perceive agi or not has not been discussed in this paper because they uh, they claim that it's out of the scope of uh, of of this work the main idea of this paper is to demonstrate that uh, uh, it's 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 possible to create such Uh, such systems which are completely automatic in nature and which can take us one step closer to creating agents which are actually tremendously useful uh so that's what they say this work demonstrates that with the available api access to powerful uh, uh, foundation models like uh, gpt4 or cloud uh, it is easy to program powerful adas algorithms and do so without any expensive hardware like gpus and i feel this is uh, this is taking the entire community uh, one step ahead and it's it's a very easy read i did not face any difficulties while while reading this paper either so i would encourage all of you to uh, read this paper and uh, uh, develop your understanding i think this this field of uh, ai agents is is going to uh, increase at a rapid pace going along